I actually wanted to show you guys one of my beaver sets here. Uh, I'm set up in a spot here where I think a lot of guys would have trouble catching them. Um, you can actually see their den hole right over here and my laziness of not wanting to put on my waders kept me from going over there and setting a conibear. bear. But, um, you know, assuming you couldn't see that den hole, I think most people would have a hard time knowing where to set a trap because it's pretty open water all the way down here. Um, no good spots that really pinch down. <clears throat> There's no real, real great trails. You know, you can kind of see one here, but no real big heavy slides that, that uh, kind of scream, man, I need to have a trap set in here. So what I opted to do here was to set up a caster mound. Uh, I actually caught a beaver on it last night. He's not a bad sized beaver, you know, probably a 40 pounder. It's not a monster, but it's a decent one. So uh, what I'm gonna do is show you guys my remake here so you know how to set up a caster mound. Now, what you can kind of see here is that I have some guiding set up, you know, several sticks to funnel them in where my caster mound is and as I kind of get done here I'll show you the finished product of course so let me get this tripod set up so I can show you guys how to do this I'll just point my camera right here where the, uh, the trap is going to be set let me get this beaver out of here real quick and then I'll set the trap up and show you guys how to do that I might get him out of here I had both feet both front feet in it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and stake him down right here. This is a tough spot because there's really only one good deep hole here where I can, uh, where I can drown this critter. A lot of you guys are wondering about how easy that stake went in. All that stake has to do is hold this thing tight, the chain tight, while he slides down the weights. And the weights are actually going to do the work while he expires. What I'll do here is I'm going to make kind of a fake slide, uh, a run if you will. Uh, and it's going to kind of act as some guiding to bring the beaver in. So you can already picture the beaver coming in right here. Let me go ahead and set my trap. I'll get the trap set and get that set up and then I'll show you the mound. Now I use dog chain, which is different than a lot of you guys probably use. And that's fine. There's nothing really says that you have to use chain or you have to use cable or you have to use rods. They all work and they all do their job. side just bed it right in there my trap set it's good to go now for the mound what I'm going to use is just kind of whatever's available because that's what the beavers do they uh, they just use whatever's handy they use sticks leaves mud grass just whatever they can so good enough. It don't have to be nothing fancy. Uh, it's kind of a 12 inch pile is all you need.
out is fine. You don't have to use a ton of it. Uh, a lot of guys want to grab the brands. I know a lot of guys have done good on Dunlap's lure. His beaver lure, uh, Caven's timber is good. Sweetwater flattail is good. Dobbin's backbreaker is good. They're all good lures. So, um, that's pretty much it. You know, you've got your trap sitting right in the middle. Kind of offset of the middle of the run here by about a few inches. And uh, a little bit of guiding. And that's about all you have to do. And that beaver will come in where you want it to. I caught this one the very first night. I'll give you a little better look of the setup here. It's hard to see the trap, but it's right there. I think you can kind of see it there. I've got it set in less than an inch of water. All I want is enough to cover the trap up. And then my caster mount is basically right here in front of it, and they will come to investigate. I'll probably catch maybe one more beaver here, and that will be it, most likely. So I hope you've enjoyed this video.